Hello, everybody. This is Greg Stump here on Powder TV. When ski cinematographers Greg Stump and Bruce Benedict got the contracts to produce a feature-length ski film, they wanted to be sure it was something different. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Powder TV. Again, I'm Greg Stump, the ski movie guy from the 80s and 90s. And in this episode, I thought I'd play you some of the comedy bits from my 1985-86 film, Maltese Flamingo. The first bit I'll show you are the crash sequences. Now, I had a friend who was a ballet skier at the time, and he would take particularly brutal falls, and he made these horrible sounds when he would fall, all twisted and mangled and just body slamming into the snow. So I thought I'd bring my friend into the studio and let him verbalize what the skiers might have been thinking in their heads. The crash sequences from Maltese Flamingo. The next bit features Michael and Elizabeth Halifax, these uh, very uh, posh British folks that I knew at the time. And I thought, what would it be like if a non-skiing British couple watched Maltese Flamingo? Darling, I thought you told me the Maltese Falcon was on the telly today. I thought it was. It's obviously not. Obviously. This masterpiece is much more than any simple falcon film. This film's brassy and bold, and I love the action. Michael, <clears throat> your head's gone soft since we moved to America. This film, for lack of a better word, quite clearly lacks even the slightest hint of sophistication. Although it goes without mentioning, I'll remind you that this travesty is nearly half finished, and up to now the producers haven't had the decency to present us with even a crude outline of a plot. Oh, give it a chance, darling. It's brilliantly experimental. Let's run it up a flagpole and see how it waves. You always were quite the debater. All right. I'll watch the second half, but I still can't understand why they called it the Maltese Flamingo. And finally, what is my favorite comedy bit in any of my ski movies? Uh, it's called The Secret Life of Sleeping Bags. Nacht. Camping. Sleeping bags. A seemingly harmless context, unless your sleeping bags live a secret life. <laughs> on a recently declassified government document, Werner and I took these motion pictures, thus revealing the horrible truth that 9 out of 10 sleeping bags develop minds of their own, derived primarily from the unknown sleeper within. The phenomenon, known as bug warming, most commonly occurs within the early stages of alpha sleep. The incidents involving only one bag, the isolated bag will usually become bored and return to its docile state. However, if permitted to have a multiple bag interaction, the creatures quickly succumb to peer pressure and form gangs. These bag gangs hmm, are then inextricably drawn to the luminescence. Like moths to a porch light, these mysterious night crawlers are drawn relentlessly by the beacon of a nearby casino marquee. To obtain this rare footage, Werner and I disguised ourselves as sleeping bags and experienced firsthand the airy world of these interesting, yet somehow empty creatures. Once inside the casino, the bagworms were attracted to the visual stimulation of video poker. 
That fascination gave way to the mesmerizing dials of the slot machines. But the most startling discovery of the night was certainly the bagworm's reaction to humans dancing. The sight of people gyrating and bouncing sent the bags into a desperate frenzy of rhythm. After nearly an hour, the bags retreated to the relative serenity of the Kino Lounge to watch the numbers light up on the large gaming board. Then, suddenly, as if some internal alarm had gone off, the bagworms departed the casino as quickly as they had come, now rushing to their respective campsites before they got a dammering. <laughs> the twilight of the sleeper awakening, hmm? For Werner and I, this was a marvelous night of scientific documentation. We had now actually photographed the bags while living undetected in the midst. Now more than ever, we must learn about the ways and wonders of the secret life of sleeping bags. I'm Greg Stump for Powder TV. To order DVDs, posters, stickers, t-shirts of my vintage movies like Blizzard of Oz, License to Thrill, Maltese Flamingo, or to get a copy of my critically acclaimed new film Legend of Oz, go to blizzardsnowstore.com. That's blizzardsnowstore.com.